Academy named Wishes and Wars, the Magic School. Seeing as the school is magic, they got a lot of press. One day, a movie crew decided to come and make a documentary of, of uh, all the students, staff, and, and the school's powers. Legend has it that the school got its powers from a small magical shape-shifting leaf that that lives in the in the center of in the center of the school. It, the tree was huge and magnificent and produced fruit for all the students to eat. The principal of the school was a witch and the vice principal of the school was a shapeshifter that could transform into a bat. No one knows this, so don't tell anybody, but both of the principal and vice principal are secretly evil. Look, there's the documentary that's making a Netflix special about our school. Let's make sure I'm in it. Let's go. Yeah, I totally want to do it. I want to do the documentary too. Let's worry about me for now, and then we can worry about you two later. Well, hey there, kids. It's nice to meet you. I'm Tammy. <laughs> yes, I know. Tammy, the camera operator. Anyways, who's someone with a very important job at the school that we could talk to? We're looking for someone very important who knows all about your school and its ancient magic. Oh, I know who you can talk to. His name is. Actually, you can talk to me. I'm Sophia. Oh, well, I thought that Mr. Bobface would be a good person to interview because he's a professor and he's been here for decades, right, Cole? Look, Mr. Bobface is coming now. Good morning, sir. Oh, welcome to our school. Welcome to our school. Now remember, kids, be nice and don't fight with each other. I'm Mr. Bobface, and I'm actually the oldest vampire professor at this school. Well, if everyone's just going to be useless here, maybe you should go talk to the principal. Her office is up the left stairwell, then three doors down on your right. Can't wait to talk to you later, because I know you'll obviously want to interview me. Bye for now. The documentary crew was feeling pretty sus about how Bellatrix and Ringalia were acting, especially seeing as if they were the principal and vice principal of the school. While the crew went off to discover more of the school, the two began plotting something very evil. Vulture, it has to be Vulture, and it kind of won't work. Are you sure this is the right spell? I don't want anyone to steal that magic, especially not those rocking kids. And then the documentary crew will be way more interested in us than the silly tree with its special magic leaves. Of course, it follows Vulture. Don't you remember how it practiced? Can't be broken? The only way for it to be broken is for everyone to get along, and that'll never happen here. Those kids are always arguing. You better be right. You will have to finish it off. <laughs> <laughs> the principal and vice principal cast their spell, and suddenly the leaves start to fall off the tree. The tree's magic comes from the leaves. Actually, one leaf in particular, a magic leaf named Peace. When Bellatrix and Wingardium cast their spell, it turned Phoebe into a human child and took away all of her magic. Wait, what happened? Why do I look like a human? Oh no, it must be, it must be that horrible principal Bellatrix who tried to take away all my power. Oh no, this is terrible, what do I do? Hi, who are you? Are you seeing your magic? I'm new here too, and so is Mr. Teddy Bear. Hi, I'm Lucy. What's your name? Phoebe. Nice to meet you. You can have lunch with us if you want. This is Cole. He doesn't speak much because of his childhood. Anyways, you can be friends with us if you want. Really? Thanks. That's so kind of you. Oh no! There's no more leaves on the map. All the leaves fell off the magic tree. What are we gonna do, Cole? Can you go see? Find something out? Whoa, Macy, your friend almost knocked us over. Do you realize I could have broken a nail? Yeah, and we just got manicures for the documentary. I think I did break a nail. Oh my gosh, you're gonna pay for this. <laughs> Why aren't we kids in the lunch room? You don't want to get in trouble from Principal Bellatrix, and for goodness sake, 
You all need to stop arguing. Your teacher is right, kids. You need to treat each other with kindness. And now that's true magic, kindness and respect. Off to the lunch hall. Meanwhile, back in the principal's office, it seemed like their evil plan was working because the documentary crew wanted to interview Bellatrix and Wingardium again. Was their evil plan actually going to work? So, what's your favorite part about being principal here at Wishes and War, the magic school? Evil magic. Kids. I mean, the kids. I love the kids. We know the magic tree is down at the moment, and we sure hope it gets back up soon because it's the most important part of our documentary. But why is the tree magic? Uh, there's this, there's a store, there's a magic store on Mars. Duh. Um, I went there a while ago because I wanted to brag to all my friends about the magic tree we had at our school. I, you could, ju you can just buy some magic powder and sprinkle it on anything. We also learned that you can transfer the magic to some of them. <laughs> now, um, when Gorilla is just kidding, funny joke. Um, can you please excuse us? We'll be happy to finish the interview then. Sure, no problem. Just as the camera crew walked out of the office, Cole, the very quiet student, snuck into the office listening to Bella, Chip, and Angaria. He had a feeling they were involved with the two missing magic. We have to be more careful. If they found out, they'd be so mad at us. Plus, we'd probably lose our job. Don't worry, they didn't catch on. Plus, no one's gonna know it was us that caused the spell to turn the magic loose into a human child. You're right. Well, it makes me feel better knowing that the only way this spell can be broken is for everyone to get along. That's seriously never gonna happen. Okay, I think it's evil laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Cole ran as fast as he could into Mr. Bottleface's classroom to tell the host, all the students what he heard Bellatrix and Ingaria say. He knew it was important for him to use his voice and to bring the school back together and fix the tree's ancient magic. It looks like this story might have a happy ending after all. And that's how you turn a trailer into a cupcake. Keep practicing everyone. Great job! <laughs> and Wingaria talking about how it was them that cast a spell on the tree that took away all of its magic. And when it, and all the leaves fell down and one magic leaf turned into a human child. Phoebe, I think you're the magic leaf. That makes so much sense. We met you right after the tree lost its magic powers. You must be the key that gives the tree its magic powers. Oh my goodness, all of a sudden, Oh, I was a human and I lost all my magic. Thank you. And I know what breaks it. The only way to break it is for all the students to get along because of them seeing us argue all the time. That they thought it would never be broken. Oh, I feel terrible. I never meant to be so rude to you guys. I feel so bad. I hope you can forgive me. We forgive you, Sophia. What's happening? I think the map is coming back. It is. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, who would have thought this is the story we'd be telling for our documentary? This is so much better than I thought we'd come here for. A community torn apart by an evil magic spell brought together for the greater good. This is so good to get me that raise. <laughs>